What is up YouTube, this is Josso360 back and today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Samsung LED monitor. So this one is the 24 inch Series 3 or model code S24B370H. So anyway, into the unboxing. Now I got this because I'm starting to do a lot of video editing and hey, if you've ever video edited, you might need a bigger screen. So 24 inches is a pretty big screen and that's probably all I can fit on my desk. So anyway, uh, this one features a full HD. 1080p display that means 1920 by 1080 that is beautiful mega dynamic contrast that just means contrast uh, Samsung magic angle that is a brilliant viewing angle I've seen stuff eco saving and HDMI since it is all that and it's got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio as most 720p monitors do now anyway this monitor is pretty special it is actually display stock so it's not going to be exactly how it's packaged in the box however I hope that this could give you like a little preview of what you could get and this is quite huge anyway <sighs> dum 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 I'm gonna cut myself one day with this unboxing. I'm just gonna be like, uh, okay, look, there you go. Anyway, okay. So the package contains a VGA case. What is it? Okay, so it contains one of these. This is VGA. So if I can get it out of the package, there we go. Now this is just your typical connector outside of your normal computer. Now I'll be using the HDMI port because that's all that comes out of mine. So yeah, it's just standard, whatever. I think it looks like about a meter-ish, 1.8 meters maybe. Also you get uh, installation manual CD and warranty and all that card that no one really cares about. Now since I'm in Australia, it comes with a nice little, uh, just two pins, so no earth, earth cable, and just a slightly small power brick. Uh, again, we'll compare it to an iPhone, probably, that's it. So it's a nice small power, power brick that you'll just push behind your desk. Anyway, now to the main feature. So this, once I take it out, there we go, look at this. This is the Samsung 24 inch monitor that can't even fit on the camera. Okay, there we go. There we go. So again, this is full HD and there's not much else to say about it. Look, this is a pretty thin monitor. It's about the thickness. Again, I'm going to compare it to an iPhone 4S. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, it is pretty thin. Uh, it's slightly thicker than the iPhone, but there you go. You can get a feel for it. Um, on the back here, you've got this nice little straight kind of engraved line design as well as a VGA cable input, a DC input and a HDMI input. So you won't ever get a TV out of this, I'm sorry. Now this is a little bit of an adjustable handle here and it's got like a little base stand thing. And on the front, you've got this slightly kind of reddish around glass kind of plastic design as well as your usual touch controls from Samsung here now that's mainly it for the monitor and I find a place to put that there we go and what else comes in here so you got a second one I don't know if that's actually meant to be in there because this is a repackaged display but here's a second VGA cable that's kind of lucky and you've got the just the base now everything on this monitor is actually plastic and kind of glass plastic so that's a high disappointment and so there you go mainly it you've got a nice little kind of steel base and so that's mainly it so thanks for watching this i know it's only an unboxing however i'll get this guy powered on and i will do a review on it to help you buy it now i did pick this up for two hundred dollars and it's like a three hundred dollar monitor um, it was a display stock at harvey norman it was the last one there and Good deal. So anyway, I'll be back with a review and thanks for tuning in my regular unboxing viewers and I will see you guys later. Fart. Okay, so instead of ending that video, I decided to just jump straight into the review of the monitor. Now, I'm sorry if there's any bad picture quality, but this is the best I could probably get it with kind of zoomed in on the monitor. Now, overall, the monitor, I've had it for just under a few hours now and I've had it powered on, I've screen configured it, I've got a program, I forgot what it's called, but it's, see, there's a little desktop 
right there's a little bar down here now when you actually duplicate your displays that's not originally there so that's there very good I forgot what it was called I'll see if I can actually find out now for all of you yeah I don't think it's no 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 uh, Ultramon there we go so how can I forget that name so yeah Ultramon that will get you that little taskbar down here which I can't even point to through the camera so anyway overall the quality of this now it's bloody amazing oh my god oh my god it is beautiful it is so crystal clear now I don't think it is an IPS display and if you don't know what IPS means it's just the sort of thing where it's a little bit more liquid crystal display but literally clear 1080p LED LCD you cannot get better than that it is beautiful so my num for the price if you can get it down to two hundred dollars anyway get it it is a beautiful 24 inch monitor now there's my YouTube channel here uh, by the way thanks for 143 subscribers um, just gonna actually show you some programs now I've only got Vegas open so this is what Vegas is there's the unboxing goodie so here's what Ve Vegas looks like on the display it's humongous you've got the main uh, video box thing which is again bigger than an iPhone and it is huge that video box is probably half the size of my other screen over over here there so that is a brilliant thing now that other screen was a 15 inch display and so that's why I upgraded so I've got dual monitors going along here so I'll have Vegas running here maybe a school assignment running there or something as you can see there's audio being recorded now so thank you guys um, my final words brilliant 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 monitor crystal clear 1080p you cannot get better than that probably you can by adding IPS and stuff but that's when you start to really get into the higher range of monitors and this has a two millisecond response time now a lot of gaming standards as you call them have a two millisecond res uh, monitors have a two millisecond response time and it's it's I'm, I'm, I'm falling in love with it it is beautiful now there's nothing much else there's just the touch buttons down the bottom here and a red light indicator it's nothing much but anyway again uh, this is on a HDMI cable input so it may vary if you use the VGA cable but it shouldn't do that much if you use the HDMI cable which obviously you should because it's a 1080p monitor it is beautiful so thank you for guys watching and I'll see you guys next time <gasps> No, I'm not going to end like that. So thanks, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you really like this content, maybe even subscribe with the email thing. So you go up here, you go subscribe, then you go email. Yeah. So thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.